Warning, the following video contains MLP related content. It also contains at least one or more of the following. Cursing, violence, immature jokes, funny reactions, or verbal and not safe for wear content. If you do not wish to view anything that may contain any of these, please immediately go to your previous page. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, BrennanMuds44 here, and I am back for another reaction. This time around, I'm actually going back for... Excuse you! I mean... I'm not even 10 seconds in the fucking recording as someone came by in a damn vehicle honking their damn horn. <coughs> Asshole. Anyways, um, I'm back um, with doing another one of the uh, Ponyville prank calls um, videos. The last time I had done one of these was back for my 1,000 sub special. Uh, to, like, that was a long... That was actually like, what? Like five months ago or something like that? It was like four or five months ago. So it's been a while since I've seen it, but... <coughs> For that one, I had done a reaction to um, Pinkie Pie Prank Calls Toys R Us, which was actually pretty fucking funny. But um, you're probably wondering where that one was, and the thing that I had done was, um, for a thousands of special, the viewers, you guys could choose which one you wanted to see um, off of the original video, and it, each and each reward reward was um, on screen and you could click the video there or in the description click the link there and it would take you to the video there and one of them was my reaction to Pinkie Pie prank call of Toys R Us and um, so um, just in case if perhaps maybe you wanted to see that one but don't feel like going to find whatever video it was that actually had um, the redirect to that previous episode then you can click over here, right in this area, Hey, Jake. like above me, and um, that'll take you over to my reaction for the Pinkie Pie one. But for now though, um, we're going to be checking out uh, the reaction of Vinyl Scratch prank calls. And this actually has, as to no surprise, because it has Vinyl Scratch, no whacking is involved. Um, by the way, the reason why I'm checking out this one as opposed to some of the other ones is... <laughs> I have no real reason. I'm just being a butt and decided to go and check this one out. So, I may go back and check out some of the other ones that they had done, but so far this is going to be my second one I've seen from them. So, yeah. But, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and check this out, because I'm seriously considering... What it is that they could have actually done with, um vinyl here so are they like prank calling a dj thing because that'd be kind of cool but um let's go ahead and see what happens so let's start it in three two one go ah yeah okay i remember them i remember um seeing the Thank preview you for thing calling for the Maytag Maytag customer experience center hi thank you for calling Maytag customer support my name is amy how can i help you today Hey, what's up, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> um, nothing. Else. Hey. Well, Amy, funny story. Uh, you see, I was doing the dishes, and then all of a sudden, I hear a boom. <laughs> the dishwasher died. I went downstairs to check, and the dishes like aren't even half done. So now I gotta hoof wash the rest of them. <laughs> so I'm calling to see if you have any dishwashers. Well, I think we can help you with that. Have you shopped with us before? Nah, nah. The last washer I had I scored from my roommate Octavia when we moved in Whoa. together. Whoa! Octavia with the final haircut. <laughs> and, uh, she isn't exactly happy that I <laughs> killed her dishwasher, so that's that's why I'm calling today. Sorry to hear about that. Let's see what we can do to help you out. Is there any kind of additional features you were looking for? Actually, now that you mention it, uh -oh. do you got anything that, you know, cleans dishes with wubs? Um, <laughs> what's a wub? Seriously? What's a wub? Man, you, you gotta get out more. <laughs> what? The? Oh, nothing. Anyways, uh, have you ever been to a rock concert? Not recently. Sorry. Not recently. Well, a wub is basically a base wave. <laughs> That's the monocle. Uh, remember when Discord attacked Ponyville and the main six were almost defeated? I <laughs> rolled up with my sweet base cannon and decimated that freak of nature on the spot. You know, like that. <laughs> it almost took out half the forest. It was awesome. I remember this video. Jeez. Yeah, okay. I'm confused here. 
She's like, this You got it, Amy. Hey, she figured it okay, out. because I have never heard of anything like this. That'd be cool. you can give me a model number from the current washer you own? Uh, see, I, I kind of tinkered with it myself. You know, using my magic kind of helps for this specialty <laughs> kind of stuff. So, the right. number. Okay, uh, let's, let's look at it another way. Do you have any dishwashers that I could fit at least two 18-inch subwoofers in? Well, not sure if this will help you, but we have a very large capacity unit that might fit your situation. Is it plastic or metal? I, I need something strong, you know? It needs to lift. Steel. It's our newer MDB series. MDB? Oh, awesome! <laughs> that must stand for Majorly Destructive Base! <laughs> well, sure, if you want it to be that, I'm not going to crush your dreams, but the full model number is MBB 8969SVN. <laughs> 69. Cool, cool, sounds good. <laughs> really? Is there anything else I can help you with, ma'am? She says so annoying. Oh, come on, Amy. Amy. You Amy. Know, I, think, hey. I think we've gotten pretty close over this. She's gonna hang up on your ass. You know, no need for that fucking normal. face. Yeah, I remember that from fucking Daring Dog. Don't. Alright then, Lionel, is there anything else I can do for you today? Oh, yeah, I, I almost forgot. Could you uh, give me a price quote on that MDB model? Sure. One moment, let me just pull this up. One million dollars! Alright, Ah, oh, I wish I could read that text in time. It says something that this weather's cold or some shit. 850 bits? Oh, sweet Celestia, I'm gonna have to work my flank off to cover this. Well, shake we that tail, shake time, that so tail. <laughs> I'll consider it, but right now I'm, I'm just looking. All right then, miss. Vinyl. All right then, vinyl. Is there anything else I can do? <laughs> I can't believe got the color yeah, vinyl. I think I'm good here today. I got a good amount of information to, you know, shop around. Thanks again shop for the help, around, baby. Shop around. Also, uh, <laughs> one more question. Hypothetically, uh, if you were to have a number... I could reach you at, what numbers <coughs> would they be, and in what order? Oh, we can be reached at the number you called, or on our website if you- I, I more mean, like a, like a personal number, you know, <laughs> like a number just for you, like your number. Oh, oh, you seem very sweet, Vinyl, but I'm working, so I don't think I can- Hey, hey, I, I got you. you wanna- Keep a professional air. I to totally understand. I will uh, talk to you later, Amy. I. <laughs> Goodbye, vinyl. <sighs> well, wubba well, dub, damn it. <laughs> wubba well, dub, damn it. What the fuck? She took that fucking question for her phone number a lot better than I was expecting. Like, I thought she was just gonna, like, start freaking out and just, like, hang up the phone, but. What the fuck? She was actually. I could actually tell that there's a hint of interest in that when she was, you know, saying that, like, she's working and stuff, like, what the hell? Okay, um, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, though, that last little bit that, uh, no, I can get there, um, uh, well, wubba dub, damn it. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was just pretty funny to me. Uh, it also reminded me of the Flintstones, the yabba dabba doo. <laughs> But, okay, um, well, that was Vinyl Prank Call in whatever the fuck place it was that they ended up calling. I, I didn't hear what the store name was, which is kind of annoying, but, um, okay, sure, why the hell not? Honestly, I know, I know that I've, like I said, I know a little bit of details about this, so I know that their prank calls don't go successfully on the first try, so I don't know how many times it took them to actually get this one done right, but this one went down really well, I think, all things considered. Like, the freaking, the, gr the woman that was on the phone was very, like, what's the word, like, she was cooperative with, like, uh, Vinyl's intentions here, without really even meaning to, like, she didn't, <laughs> and I like how they actually had, um, Vinyl actually become, like, a teacher and actually explain, like, what it is that she used in order to clean her dishes beforehand. Like, she was like, oh, well, I used wubs. And she's like, what the crap is wubs? And she's like, well, it's this, this, and then this. And she's like, oh. <laughs> like a 
fucking it's <laughs> Prof Professor Vinyl. <laughs> Professor Vinyl is gonna teach you how to web properly. But jeez Louise. I like this one. This was actually pretty cool. And even though this one didn't get as, you know, adult as um per se the Pinkie Pie's call to Toys R Us that I said I had watched before, this one was still pretty damn neat. And uh I'm actually like I said, I'm still very surprised about I'm very surprised how that freaking woman took the uh request for her number. Like <laughs> It would have been funny if she actually did give the number because all we would hear on the freaking prank call thing here is because <laughs> they're not gonna disclose their number out to everybody. If they did, that'd be pretty fucking messed up. But I know that they wouldn't do that. Because they're not assholes. They're just having to have a laugh here. And it was interesting. It really was. But, um, I don't think they ever got into details as to, like, what the material was or whatever for the freaking dishwasher was that Vinyl was, um, Vinyl and the one was talking about. Because Vinyl asked if it was, like, plastic or metal or something, but I don't think she ever gave it a definite answer to it. Um, she pretty much just said, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah blah, 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 it should be okay. It's it's kind of sturdy. But she didn't really say if it was, you know, made of cheap plastic or if it was made out of strong iron wheel strength. But, like, seriously. <laughs> like, oh, God. Yeah, that's what they should do, yeah. Freaking, they should have had, like, um, a second person come into the call by oh, accident. They should say, like, oh, I accidentally picked up the phone or whatever and joined the call. But should have been, like, Iron Will coming on the phone and be like, Iron Will approves of this dishwasher. <laughs> it's made of 100% true Iron Will. <laughs> like, something like that, but I don't know. But I like this one a lot, and it was actually pretty neat that they were actually... They were actually able to get uh, Noakin to actually participate in this. But, um... I'm actually going to leave this question to uh, Ponyville Prank Calls themselves, because I know that they actually am, are going to watch this, because, hell, they're the ones who freaking suggested me to watch this one. So, yeah. So I'm going to ask you... Uh, I'm not sure who's the actual host of the channel. I think it's Rustic Shine. But I'm not 100% certain about that. But I, I think it's a shared channel between Rustic Shine and Webcake. But not 100% certain. But either way, um, I would like to know. How many attempts did you guys have to go through before you actually got this end result here? Because, like I said before, I know that you guys don't end up getting these things done properly on the first try. Because, f fuck if it was that easy. You know, there'd be a lot more videos. But no, it's... That the fact that it's almost impossible to not laugh when you're doing this kind of thing. Like, I'm pretty sure if I tried to do a freaking prank call um, on there, I'd probably be busting my ass up, like, just laughing, like, midway through. And like, shit! Redo! But, I don't know, like, I'm just curious, like, how many times did you guys have to go through before it finally worked out? But, um, anyways, like I said, um... I really did enjoy this one, and I may end up going back and looking at one or two of the other prank calls. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through all of them, because, unfortunately, there's just, nowadays, there's just so much stuff that I need to watch, and I don't, and I'm running out of time in days in order to actually check them out. Like, I'm getting less and less time each day to do what I do here, so. Ah! But, anyways, um... So, without that, um, I think that's actually about it for my take on this episode, everybody. And so, if you enjoyed this video, at least half as much as I did, then leave a like down below. And if you have not done so already, because no, why would you not? Then, uh, you can click up here in order to subscribe. And that'll let you stay up to date on any content I make in the near future, because I intend to update this stuff fairly frequently, and perhaps you don't want to miss out. So, without further ado, this is BurningBoss44 saying... See you guys later.